Welcome to this week's JVA Coach to Coach Video of the Week, brought to you by Netlink Sports, the preferred court provider of the JVA. Hello, my name is Sam Nadler. I'm the head coach of 17 Open for Access Elite Volleyball Academy out of Simpsonville, South Carolina. I'd like to share with you a uh, coaching tool that I came up last year. My middles and my right sides especially had a habit of slack blocking, as I like to call it. They were late with their press, and they were bringing their hands from behind their head to time the press with the block. And it was, uh, it was allowing them to get into the net. Uh, they were either late or early with their penetration, and they weren't penetrating for very long. So I brought a, a $5 pool noodle to the gym, and I had them hold it here uh, along the net. And now they can't slap block anymore, because if they do, they're going to hit themselves in the head with it. So we practice over and over the blocking footwork and uh, the hand placement and practicing their press up and over the net. And now I'll have some players demonstrate that for you in progression. Okay, Amara, now she's going to demonstrate the simplest progression of this drill. She's going to do uh, standing blocking, uh, just jumping over and over and practicing the, uh, the form of the do. So go ahead. She's concentrating on keeping her hands uh, prior to the block here at chest level and then holding her press over, over the net with the noodle for as long as possible. Notice she's not slapping, she can't bring the noodle from behind her head and she's going to hit herself in the face with the noodle. So right now Victoria is going to demonstrate the second progression of this drill with the noodle blocking, especially for middles with the three-step blocking closing to the pin. Um, she's going to uh, go ahead now, she can demonstrate here. Notice how she's keeping the noodle parallel to the net all the way through her footwork that keeps her hands in the right position for her press when she gets all the way to the pin. When she gets all the way there, she's going to hold her press just like uh, the previous demonstration with Amara for as long as possible. So the third progression of this noodle blocking drill puts them both together. We've got Morgan on the right side here and Rachel in the middle blocking. She's going to close to Morgan and grab a hold of the noodle that uh, Morgan is holding for her and they're going to go up together. Go ahead and try. Good. Just keep going. So this helps Rachel keep her hand in the right position pre-block. The noodle will, will flex a little bit so that they can get their timing together with their press. Now this will also help Morgan on the right side to wrap her right hand, wrap the block towards zone six back in the middle of the court. She can actually physically bend the noodle back towards the center of the court. After bringing the pool noodle to the gym, I found there were several other ways to use it in our training. I like to put the, the noodle in the netting and weave it up there as an antenna. I can split the court in half now to do ball control drills on either side. I can put the uh, pool noodle in the netting like this, simulate a block. We can run defensive drills around that block or even have hitters hit into it to practice tooling or hitting through the seam. I also use it to keep hitters from away from the net by holding this out, they can't jump in front of it. I'd like to see anything else that you can come up with with a pool noodle. I hope this was helpful. Thanks again. This is Sam Nadler from Access Elite Volleyball Academy out of Simpsonville, South Carolina. Thank you for watching the JVA Coach to Coach video, video of, of the week. week.